Hello students, good afternoon and welcome to our math class. Today we'll be doing our lesson from unit 11 and we'll be dealing with percentages. Some of you might have had knowledge, earlier knowledge on percentages and some of you today might be the first time that you'll be dealing with percentages. But whatever the situation might be, I want you to pay much attention and then you join me to explain more about percentages. Percentages are very important because we use percentages to compare different things. Example, when you do a text, we can use percentage to compare whether you did well in math more than doing well in English or vice versa. We can also use percentages to de describe the increase or the decrease either in the price or in, in, in the volume of a measurement that we are also taking. So example, a cost of an item, one is $20 and the other one is $40. So we're going to use percentages to see how we can describe these items. Again, we will also continue by studying how we can change fraction into a percentage, okay? And lastly, on this video, we will do how we can change a percentage. Whenever you see this sign, it represents percentage into a fraction, okay? So first, let's see. So two tests were conducted. Let's say the first one is math and the other one is English. So in the case of math, you had 14 out of 20. And then in English, you had 60 out of 75. So we want to use percentage to see which one that you did well and which one that you didn't do well in these two situations, okay? So first of all, we say 14 out of 20 means 14 out of 20. So this is the fraction that you're going to make out of the results that you get. So first, what you have to do is that we have to reduce our fraction into the smallest units and possible enter into a decimal because that is going to help us to get the percentage so easily, okay? So first, let's start with the easiest one. So 2 will divide here, let's say 7, and we'll divide here by 10. So if you do the other one, it's going to be 0 0.7, right? Once you get 0 0.7, this is as equal as 70%. Those of you who don't get it here will explain further so that you understand because 70% is also the same as 70 over 100 and that will give you 0 0.7. So let's see in the case of the English, we have 60 over 75. Okay, so we will use 5 to divide the 60 and that of the 75 so that we can go more quickly. So 5 is going to divide here into 1, 2, okay? And then 5 will divide here into 1, 5. So we have 15 here. So we still have to go a little more down. So 5 will divide here into three no we have to use we have to use what three so it will divide here by five and here by four okay then we divide here five has to go into another one so five will divide here into 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 will give us 80 percent so 80 percent is also means 80 divided by 100 and that is equal as 0 0.8 that means in the course of it in comparing your math and your english you did well in english more than doing well in your math because you had 80 percent here and then you had 70 percent over there so this is how we can use percentages to describe things or different things okay now let's look at a cost of items. We have $20 and $40 items. It has been reduced by 10%. So we are finding out if this is reduced by 10%, what will be the new price and what will be the new price for the other item as well. So our $20 price is going to be multiplied by 10 divided by 100 because 10% means divided by 100. 
So our zero will cancel this zero and zero will cancel this. So that means we're going to have two dollar reduction. Let's see what will happen to the 40. So with the 40 is also going to be 40 divided multiply by our 10 by our 10 hundred so zero will cancel this zero and this will cancel this one okay so we're going to have four dollars so that means our new price will be 18 here and this is going to be 36 okay so that means the price reduction we are using percentages to describe the decrease in price so our $20 price is going to be now $18 and our $40 is also going to reduce into $36. Now let's move on to how we can change fractions into a percentage, okay? We have five over 10, that is a fraction. We want to change this into a percentage. The first thing that you have to do is you have to simplify your fraction. So by simplifying, we will use 5 to divide the fraction. So 5 will divide here by 1 and we will divide here by 2. Okay, so what is the next step? The next step is we are changing it into a percentage. So we multiply by 100. If we multiply by 100, 2 will cancel itself and cancel here. 50. So our new percentage is going to be 50 percent. That means we have 50 percent. That means we've changed this into a percentage and that is a 50 percent. Now let's see the next one. We are changing percentage into a fraction. You have a percentage and we want to change to fraction. So don't forget that whenever you see a percentage attached to a number, it means 20 divided by 100. So you already have this one. So what you can do is you can simplify your fraction and then you say this will cancel this and then 2 will cancel itself 1 and cancel here 5. So this becomes your end answer. So that means your final fraction that you get will be 1 over 5. I hope you have enjoyed this section of our percentages. We will have our first activity and then we'll come back to our second video. So please, this is your tax one. Afterwards, we'll meet in the second video. Thank you. Hello students, welcome to our second video. On the first section, we studied about percentages and how to use percentages in comparing different things and that of describing a decrease or increase. In this section, we'll be studying how we can calculate percentages on bigger values. So join me to study how we can do calculation of percentages, okay? So the first example is that we're going to work 20% of 40. That means we are looking for how much or what will be the value of 20% in 40, okay? So we see 40 as 100. So what will be the 20% out of 40? So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to work on 40. So we first write our 40 and we are working out 20%. So we multiply by 20 over 100 okay so this will cancel this and this will cancel this one so what is left is 4 and 2 and that will be equal to 8 so 20% of 40 is equal to 8 the next thing is there is a mass of 120 kg it has been reduced by 15% so the initial mass is 120 and reduced to 15, reduced by 15%. So you have your 120 multiplied by 15 divided by 100, okay? So this zero will cancel this one. 
5 will here 2 and 3. 2 will cancel our 12 here by 6. So 2 is gone. So we have 6 and 3. That will be equal to 18. Okay? So 18 is not your actual figure. 18 is the 15% of your 120. So to know the actual figure, what you have to do is that you have to subtract your 18 from your 120 and that is going to give you 102 kg so your new mass is going to be 102 kg after getting your 15 percent of it you subtract from the first mass and then you get your new mass that means reduced by 15 percent don't forget that one the third one, we have 300 people at a football match. So these are 300 people who went to watch a football match. 35% of them were adults and the rest were children. So the first thing that is asking is that find percentage of children, which is so easy because total percentage is 100 and already you know that 35 is equal to the adult. So the next one is going to be 65 okay so you have 65 percent as children now once you have 65 as children to work out how many children were there it means that we have to find the 65 percent of our 300 okay so that will be 300 multiplied by 65 divided by 100 okay the two zeros here will cancel these two zeros here so you have three and five here so three by five will give us 15 remember one three and six will be 18 and then we'll have nine here so that means there are or there were 195 children within the 300 people who were at the stadium to watch the football match this is how you can calculate your percentages anytime you are dealing with percentages okay it's been nice coming your way with percentages but we'll end our lesson with our second activity that will be on exercise 11.2 page 115 i'll see you in our last video Students, this is our third video. Our lesson is percentages. We're going to do a recap about what we have done in our first and second video so that you will know that this is what we have done today. The main objective of this lesson is to help you to understand how we can use percentages to compare different things and how we can use percentages to also describe increase or decrease the sign of percentage is written as this so it's either you see the word percentages or percentage or you see the symbol that represents the full word of percentages okay in the first video we did how we can change percentage into a fraction and how we can change fraction into a percentage in our second video we also studied about how we can calculate percentages from increase to decrease and that was also shown in our lesson i am hopeful that you have enjoyed studying with me today and you've really understood what percentage is and the ups and downs of percentages we'll end our lesson by having our homework that will be exercise 11.1 we're doing questions 1, questions 9, 10, and that of 11. It's so small for you to finish. Make sure you finish in time before our next lesson. I'd like to say a big thank you for joining our lesson today. I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.